This is Kevin Tumbleton from draft to digital and I am really excited about this new tool I'm about to introduce you to. Uh, we call it Reading Lists. Now, this is the newest, greatest tool from our Books to Read site, which is aimed at helping you promote your books and helping you find readers for your work. So here we go. Uh, first, you're going to go to BooksToRead.com. Now, I'm on the staging site now, but if you go to BooksToRead.com, you can log in. Once you log in, you're going to find this page. You're going to see this little... Uh, drop down menu up here called link tools and uh, if you click on that now if you hover over it you'll get the same options but if you click on it you'll see you now have more than just your universal book links which you're used to you have your reading lists so click on reading lists and now you come to now this is the blank version of this page there's nothing here yet uh, nice lady enjoying a nice book your book this will be your book uh, although she'll be reading on a tablet <laughs> or, a, <laughs> or her phone or something similar. Um, but what we've got now is a brand new way for you to build a list of books that will allow readers to, uh, to kind of browse through things you recommend. Now, this can be your books. It can be other people's books. Um, there's a lot of ways you can use this. We're going to get into some of this. Uh, so here we are, reading lists. Uh, reading lists let you track your favorite books and share recommendations on social media and around the web. Now, you're going to see right off, we've got two little options here. One is make a new reading list, which we're about to do. The other is show all. Now, clicking that doesn't do anything right now because there's nothing on this page. But what it does is uh, turn on and off the inactive uh, reading lists you might have and you'll see what we mean by that in a moment but first let's make a new reading list now once we've clicked on the uh, make a new reading list button here we are on the setup page uh, the reading the reading list setup page lets you change the display options for this reading list click the uh, you can click the edit reading list ca carousel button to modify its contents uh, and right now this reading list is private it can be made public in the advanced panel you can dismiss this if you want so this may seem a little familiar it is built on the uh, the books to read uh, platform um, although this has a lot more graphic content over here you'll see a preview of the list we're about to make you'll notice there's a little header here there's the carousel name the carousel now if you're familiar with carousels from our book tabs and from our author pages they're gonna be essentially the same thing so you're gonna be able to have a little fun with this now though this is a lot more customizable so your list needs a unique and personal name. So we're going to start with, mm, I know this is simple, my first reading list, exclamation point. All right. Uh, and you can add an optional tagline to tell visitors what they're there seeing, what they are looking for. Um, so we're going to say fun books to read tonight. How about that? All right. Now, we get some more options here, and if we got these little uh, check boxes, our uh, plus boxes here that indicate that uh, we can, we have options, right? So we can expand these. First, we're going to choose a header. Now, we'll give you a free header you can use. You can select from a, a variety of them. You can see there's quite a few here. You could also upload your own header, and we give you the, uh, the specifications for that. So it's a minimum 1200 by 300 uh, pixels at a maximum 72 DPI. Uh, you can go bigger. Uh, you can put an overlay on top of it, which is a um, color that you can put over the top of the image, and you can control its opacity. So we're going to, for now, we're going to go ahead and set that back to zero. And let's just select one of the default images. And let's say that uh, th these are books that we want them to read tonight. So let's do blue ripped paper and hit save and now we've got a whole new header all right so and you can go through these and find the one you like uh, let's go wood stage oh it automatically pre previews uh, so you can go through these uh, pick the ones you like uh, some of these are a lot of fun I like whiskey border uh, network that one's nice and technical uh, red lines so you've got quite a few options here um, and just to, just so we look at it, audio relaxation, uh, which is pretty good. That's generic enough. I think people could enjoy that. Uh, trip down the stairs. So you've got a, quite a few uh, nice ones, and you could do your own version um, right here. Now, let's go ahead and pick a color. Let's say that we liked purple, uh, and let's 
let's amp that up a little so you can see how that color changes uh, go all the way over if we want there we go and going all the way over makes it a solid color you can change the opacity kind of like that little hint of purple there that's not that's nice okay <clears throat> let's go ahead and save that uh, just for coverage and now we can uh, we can close that and we can go to search terms Search terms help readers find recommendations that are relevant to their interests. You are limited to 20 terms per reading list. So these are like keywords of a sort. Eventually what's going to happen is uh, readers will come to a, a central site and they'll, they'll find themselves with a uh, search box and they'll type in terms uh, that might interest them. So they might type, let's say, ships. Um, we can add that term. So now we've got ships. Uh, let's say boats, just for a little coverage, right? Water, uh, sailing. I've got a theme going here. How about dreaming? Oops. Sleep. Uh, nightmares. Right? So, uh, I don't know why I'm associating dreaming, sleep, and nightmares with sailing, but uh, that's that's where we are in the world right now. So, um, and we might also say adventure, uh, thriller, um, horror, you know, we can talk about the genres that are in there. We can do this up to 20 terms. So, once we've got that, uh, now we can go to, this is an option, but... We can add BISAC categories. Now, where, what we're, where we're going with this is, let's say that everything in this list is going to fall under one particular BISAC category. So let's, let's say um, mystery, making sure that I spelled mystery correctly. And then this, you, you may be familiar with this. This is the same BISAC uh, ch you know, choosing tool as we have built into draft to digital so now we've got uh, some options we can open these up uh, and uh, let's go to mystery and detective and let's say cozy mysteries yeah there we go so now we have uh, a bisect category and i think we can pick a couple of these let's let's choose another mystery category let's try um international mystery and crime and uh well let us choose a third there we go. I think we can choose up to seven. <laughs> so we'll do traditional. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, historical. Nope. Oh, okay, there we are. So we can do five. I knew it was something. I knew it was an uneven number. Did not remember which number. So there we are. We've got now our categories and search terms. This is starting to seem a little familiar to you, I'm sure. Uh, so let's open this up and check out our advanced options. For retail specific promotions, you can force all the links on this reading list to four to your chosen store as it advises that this is for uh, advanced readers only uh, but uh, and uh, down here if you uh, if, if it's a private reading list it'll only be viewed by the owner but let's say that um, we're, we're promoting some books on Amazon for example that's going to be the most common right uh, every book in this list is available on well let's just face it it's probably going to be available on Kindle Unlimited uh, so it's only available at Amazon, so we could send it by over there. Uh, or if we were doing a special promotion with, let's say, Kobo. Now we can uh, add Kobo, and anybody who clicks on one of these links is going to go to those links on Kobo. Um, you might choose one of these, for example, Apple or, or Amazon, where you have an affiliate account. And uh, so you're doing a promotion, and all the books come from something that you have uh, associated an affiliate account for. Um, now we allow you through the Universal Book Links to do exactly that. So remember that when you're setting those up, go ahead and uh, set up your account with all the affiliate and associate accounts you can sign up for. <laughs> so for example, on uh, Amazon, so everything on this list now will, uh, let's go ahead and make this public. Everything on this list will now forward to its sales page on Amazon. Uh, directly which saves some steps but also if you have an Amazon associate ID uh, so, and you've fixed that to your account then you're gonna you're gonna make a little extra money every, each time someone clicks and buys through that link so that's a handy thing to have let's go ahead and save our progress here and uh, custom name your URL so right now um, I can type in anything I want uh, let's type first list 
and that'll become oh see it's available and I can hit save now if you're if you're familiar with universal book links this is the same scenario except we have this little extension here so it'll be book reads doc books to read dot com slash rl for reading list slash first list and I can clear that I can uh, get rid of that uh, unique URL if I want uh, but that is the URL that now I can uh, share publicly if I want. Uh, makes it easier to remember. And of course, down here, once we're done, if we no longer, let's say we set this up as a promotion and we only wanted this list to run while we had a bunch of books or, or friends of ours had a bunch of books in uh, a Kobo promotion. So for example, I, uh, I do a lot of promoting with a group of thriller authors. So I might take every single one of their books, put them in a reading list with my Amazon uh, affiliate uh, code or my Kobo affiliate code. And uh, that way, when I share that list, I'm promoting all the books on that platform that might be on sale. And once the promotion has run its course, I can come here and I can deactivate the reading list. So now we've, uh, we've set it all up. We've got a nice looking page. We're kind of seeing it in preview. Uh, now we need the important stuff. We got to actually add books. So let's click Add Books. So here we are. This, if you have used our uh, author pages and our book tabs, then you are somewhat familiar with this layout. Uh, this is uh, this is more or less how those pages are built, uh, and you've got some options here. So uh, now you can you can come over here and you can look at this in reader view. This is what the reader will currently see. There are no carousels here right now. So uh, we're going to go back and we're gonna edit this reading list. Now up here we can do save changes, save and continue. We've got lots of options. Uh, so let's start building our first carousel. So first up, uh, let's uh, this is my first reading list. So let's say I'm going to call this new series uh, Thrillers. Okay, and uh, here it says type in your carousel or single book description. So uh, this is a little text area that you don't currently get on the uh, the carousels for other pages. This is a chance for you to to describe the books that are that are going to be in this carousel. And uh, I can type here uh, some of oops let's, let's let's highlight this entire area some of my favorite thrillers exclamation point oh let's go back and let's spell properly shall we all right so now we've got um our the name of our carousel and the description all we got to do now is add some books uh so as it says here empty carousels will not be shown to the readers so if i even though i've saved this title even though i've got the description if I save it and I go back, we still don't see anything here. There's still a blank space there. That's because there are no books in the carousel. So let's add some books. Let's say, uh, I'm just going to do a quick search here. All right, so here's a bunch of, you know, these are all old covers, but here's a bunch of books uh, from uh, previous uh, tries at this, pre you know, when I've made UBLs uh, through, and this is through my, staging account so there's not as many here but uh, this gives me a selection of books I can add so let's go ahead and I'm gonna add all the thrillers to this carousel all right and add selected books and now we have this beautiful carousel now you can also rearrange these I'll put, a, put them in their proper order here uh, you know I can I can move any of these titles any way I want so that is uh, how you customize that. And uh, that's fun. So let's add a second carousel. This time we're going to call it Sci-Fi. And I'm going to say some sweet Sci-Fi action. Exclamation point. Now notice you get some formatting uh, options here. So let, let's just try, let's play with that for a second. Let's go ahead and We'll bold that, right? And we'll italicize that. And here, this is cool. 
let's do this. We can put a URL right in the description. So I'm just going to copy this and say uh, paste. Oh, it truncated it anyway. Okay, so here we are. We've created a uh, clickable link within the description of this page. I'm going to hit OK. All right, there we go. And uh, now we have a link within our description. Uh, but if we save this now and we go and look, of course, we're going to see um, the page as it is with the thrillers, but not the sci-fi books because there were no books in the carousel. So we're going to go back. So where that's handy, by the way, is that you can go ahead and build a bunch of carousels and uh, that'll allow you to uh, in, keep them unpopulated, but um, you can have a bunch set up and, and sort of pre-build in advance and add books as you create your universal book links. So. Here we are again. Let's try Tumlinson, and this time we're going to add our sci-fi books. All right. Add selected. All right, and there we go. We're going to go ahead and move these into their proper order. And this time, when we save changes and we go to the reader view, <clears throat> this time we've got not just the description but some formatting not just the books but we also have this link now if we click on that link it opens up that page and boom there we are let's go back there's a beautiful page right <laughs> so we're gonna go back now we're back on my first reading list let's go back and let's edit and um we're going to uh, we're going to do a little something different this time. Let's add a carousel, and this time when we, oops, we're going to call this uh, random books, and I'm just going to say Miscell miscellaneous books I dig. Okay, and when we click to add. Um, this time, let's see, let's do Tomlinson. All right. And we get an option here that says show all my UBLs. So let's click that. Now this is every single universal book link that I have in this current, uh, account. Uh, so I'm going to add some random miscellaneous books. You know, these two books are not by me, so... You know, you can add any books for which you've created a universal book link, and you can create a universal book link for any book, as long as you have a link to that book somewhere online. Now I'll throw in a couple of of books of mine. Uh, let's 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 really push the limits and see. Um, let's just add all of them. <clears throat> that way, we can kind of stretch this carousel though, so you can see how that's going to work. All right, and. Add selected books. Now you see this is the this is the standard carousel we see, and we move stuff around however we like, and hit save changes. And let's go ahead and take a look at the reader view. And here we are, my first reading list. We got our thrillers. We got our sci-fi. And we got our random books. And we can cycle through these books in the carousel just like that. Now, you can see where this is going to be kind of handy and cool. Um, for one, you can, I, I for one, I'm going to create, recreate my books page, which you saw a little preview of, but I'm going to actually recreate it here with these carousels. So then I can actually uh, categorize my books, put them in, put them by series. But I can also create not just the series itself. I mean, I so right now I call this thrillers, but let's just say I want to name it 
Dan Kotler Archaeological. Oh, I knew I spelled it wrong. Rollers, okay. Um, no, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that the same, but I can change this to anything I want. And that means that I can have uh, multiple carousels. So I can have one carousel that is for um, my thrillers, and I can have another carousel that might include those same thrillers, but would be uh, named something else entirely. So maybe it's first in series, for example, uh, things like that. And I can add as many books as I want to those. Um, but here's something really neat. Now let's just say uh, we call this one this week's feature. All right, and we can put in as much text as we want here. Um, there we go and just for the fun of it we'll uh, we'll put I know I should have had a whole bunch of text all ready to go this is where I wasn't prepared enough so you can do paragraphs in here okay and uh, of course you can do the formatting you can do links you can do whatever you want but this time uh, we're gonna add a book and we're gonna add um, a single book add selected book okay so this is a carousel that only has one book in it this week's feature with a whole bunch of gibberish but uh, let's let's click on see reader view now here's our carousels just like we remember and here's our random books and then here we are this week's feature see how beautiful this layout is even with the garbage text in it you can get the idea here so we got a hero book here and we got the name of this uh, carousel this stuff's optional but you could put the book description you can put a link uh, you can put anything you want there so that's that's really pretty sweet and amazing uh, so you can do a single book carousel something you currently Although you will eventually, you can't currently do this on the author pages or the um, the uh, book tabs. So now let's go back. And now that we have this, we're going to click down here on manage carousels. So you're familiar. You should be familiar with this if you have seen um, if you've played with the author pages and book tabs. You should know how this works. But I'm going to move this week's feature up top. And then I'm going to hit save. So that, that changed the game, right? So now that's at the top. And it's save changes. See reader view. And now when people land on this page, the first thing they see is this guy. Kind of a hero book right at the top of the page with a description and links and whatever. And then they can go down and read through the rest of the series. So a lot more options and we're going to be continuing to uh to up the game on these things as we go now if i decide i don't want a um one of these series here anymore i just come over here and i i can click that um this will let you add more books to the series and this will let you delete books from the series and if i delete all three of those books it will remove the entire thing if I want to delete the entire carousel, I just come up here and uh, I click Manage Carousels, and then here we are, Sci-Fi, and I could just click the Sci-Fi carousel to remove it. So I don't want to do that right now, but that is reading lists. That is probably the coolest thing that we have built so far. This is knocking my current favorite uh, Universal Book Links off of the top spot for favorite draft to digital. Uh, tools and if you hit save and continue once you're all done here you are you're back at the uh, you can now you get to a point where you can share 
these these lists. So this is the link. So I could copy that link. You see the little ghosting thing that happens right up here. I click that and I can share it anywhere I want. Uh, I can click these buttons to share to Facebook. Uh, so that's handy. You can just type in whatever you want around, about that. Um, you, know, you can share to Twitter. And uh, as time goes by, we will improve on that service too. So this is the fun stuff. This is where it really, uh, it really kind of comes down to how creative can you be with what you're doing. So now if you go on back to reading lists under link tools, you can come back to these things anytime, by the way. Um, and uh, now on your reading list, you get, here's a, you click that to preview. Here's your keywords. And down here you have, uh, includes three authors, includes five genres. Uh, that's useful information. Uh, and now you can, uh, here you can actually, this is where the, uh, activate the, uh, if if it happens to, if you want to deactivate it or that sort of thing, um, you can come here and deactivate your reading list from this spot and reactivate it from this spot if you choose. Click save and notice up here we've got the uh, breadcrumbs. This was actually on every page, uh, usually in the top left corner, but you can navigate. Uh, through the various sections of this by clicking on those breadcrumbs. Uh, so here we've uh, we've got this deactivated list. You can tell because it's grayed out. And uh, if you click the uh, the button there, now that list doesn't show. So uh, if you want to see your deactivated list, you just click that and it shows all lists. Uh, you got other options, uh, of course. You can reactivate from this page. Uh, you can delete it. You can edit. Uh, so you get uh, plenty of options. So now if we click on edit, we'll, uh, we'll get back to the edit screen. Uh, here we can, uh, you're familiar with this. This is where we can choose all those options all over again. We can reactivate the list from here, just like that. Uh, and we can continue editing the carousels if we want, but we can hit save. And that pretty much sums us up. So that is reading lists, uh, one of our newest features brought to you by draft to digital built on the books to read platform. And we can't wait to see what you do with this. So, uh, let us know, hop over on Twitter and Facebook and, uh, just let us know that you're using this and what you're doing with it. So that's it for now. And we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>